Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Afa Kamia Omusolo, and I serve with Scripture in Uganda. I'm glad to come back to you again with the word. But before, let us pray. Loving Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your protection upon us and your continued provisions for our different needs, O oh God. King of glory, as we're going to listen to thy word, Father, we pray you speak to us individually, O oh God. You speak to us with clarity that each of us shall be able to understand your word in the directions you want us to understand it, O oh God. Give us knowledge and understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, as we continue with our teachings, I want to look at a simple topic, and that is choose your love. Yes, choose your love. When I say choosing your love, everyone starts wondering, okay, what am I choosing? Which love versus which love? But here, particularly I want to point us to the Bible, in the book of First John, chapter 2, from verses 15 to 17, and says, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. That is the word from 1 John. And verse 15 starts by saying, do not love the world or anything in the world. Yes, I know Genesis told us, it's very clear that God created the world. And one of our responsibilities is to love his creation. Now, I'm not saying loving the creation is bad. But what I'm trying to mean here, when John said do not love the world, in this context, John was trying to tell us about the other world, the world that is designed by the devil. Those different acts, you know those things we do out there that make our flesh feel so nice and yet they are enticed by the non-believers. Things like clubbing, things like uh, doing drugs, things like immorality. Today love has become love. But one thing I tell you is love for the world is not what the Lord wants. The Lord wants us to love everyone in the rightful sense. Part B of that very verse 15 says, if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Meaning, if you love the world, if you love Satan's traps, if you love clubbing, if you love these other things that are not godly, then the love of God cannot be in you. There is no way you can play a double standard. You cannot love Man U at the same time you love Chelsea. You can't love FDC at the same time you love NRM. You cannot cheat. Praise the Lord. And therefore, choose your love wisely. You either love God or you love the world. But many times we think we are sharp. You're this way, you're this way. You even confuse the devil. The devil wants to use it for his missions, but you're there confusing him. You, if you're choosing to love the world, you love the world and we deal with you accordingly. But God is telling us, love God and not the world. Verse 15, I mean 16, Cornelius says, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, take for example, we who love clubbing, you go, you club, and you feel the body is demanding for some bit of alcohol. The body is demanding for some bit of sexual pleasure. That is making just your body happy. Yet, it is wrong. Then Konya says, the lust of the eyes. You love watching pornography. You love watching things that will just bring happiness to you temporarily. Yet, it's killing the soul. That is not the love God is speaking about here. God is speaking about the rightful love of God. And it comes by saying, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Now, pride is something that is very, very big and killing us today. The lust of pride, 
you find people struggling with status issues, people in new positions and they feel they have arrived. Someone buys a luxurious car and they, when they're driving around the town, they put up music high volume and they feel that the only ones around town. That is not right. Remember, it's God who has put in that position. So you ought to love God more than the luxuries. You ought to love your creator. Verse 17 says, the world and its desires pass away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. All these things that you're loving, the nightclubs, the drinks you're loving, that make you so much a drunkard, those different luxurious cars you're loving, all those things are going to pass away. But the love of God will not pass away. You're going to be loved. He's going to love you until eternity. But some of these things here, a girl comes, hey, I love you, I love you tomorrow when there is no money for Valentine. And she blocks your phone. You can no longer access her. So, whereas you love other things, make sure you choose your love right. You, if you love dancing, you can dance right in church for the Lord. If you love happening, you can happen right for the Lord. You love singing, you can sing right in church. But love God and don't love the world. Choose your love wisely. I had also those issues. I used to choose love in different ways. I loved the world and that's how I did my drugs. I did what? But time came where I had to think twice and choose my love wisely and end up loving God. For some of these things, if you find choosing your love wisely is hard, I refer you get back to our YouTube page and you find a teaching on the side. It will teach you how to take wise decisions, even on loving. Otherwise, we love you so much and keep following our social media handles.